So when they say the future is female, they didn't lie. Like ladies are winning out there. People are taking care of themselves. People are praying. And to be honest, I feel like in heaven, there will be a lot of ladies than men. I feel like hey guys welcome to my channel my name is faith tembo if you are new here please be sure to like comment and subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch yet another video in today's video i'm going to be doing a get ready with me a chit chat other people will call it a life update and please be sure to turn on your notification bell so that next time when i'll be dropping a video you'll be notified that my video is up here yeah so please be sure to like and comment down in the description box disclaimer i'm not a makeup artist i am just a girl who does her own makeup i'm going for a movie date with my friend and i just decided to do a chill chat get ready with me just to make it fun and not boring like just sit there and i'm like okay let's make it fun i do my makeup and you guys listen and just watch i know some parts the makeup was looking extreme but this is at the end the end came out perfectly and yeah let's get right into it so my eyebrows are done i know i haven't been posting a lot lately because i have been busy but that's why i've come here just to chat let's connect i'm just gonna have a chit chat just talk about life lately and how everything is going in my life but yeah so firstly i put god first in everything that i do so i'm gonna start from there my foundation is like not my tone so i always go in with this concealer as foundation yeah so don't judge me please guys don't judge me don't judge me as i always say yeah but it works it works really because this is my this is my skin tone it's really hard finding a perfect skin tone my life spiritually can be better i feel like last year i used to spend a lot of time with god and this year has just been like not really down but it has been a roller coaster and i'm working on that and it's just those times where you'll be having hard times and i feel like maybe god has abandoned me but he really hasn't i'm gonna get this sponge uh, and open it. yeah so my relationship with god really can be better and i'm definitely working on that so i'll just spray some shimmer spray i got this from where did i get it from i got it from china Mom. i'll just spray like that so that it's just a bit wet yeah then i'll blend in my foundation yeah the most important relationship you can ever have in this world is a relationship with god and you need to work on that and i'm definitely working on that i feel like a relationship with god is also a roller coaster to be honest it's not perfect there are years where you'll be committed we're just doing his work there's some years we just but it can be better and it's not only about blessings it's just about having a source we connected to and god is my source to be honest and without him i feel like without god i am lost I don't know if you guys also feel like that but i feel like if i'm not praying if i'm not reading the bible i feel lost in life i really feel like i don't have direction i'm really working on just staying close and staying rooted and i know you guys obviously you wonder if i'm dating if i'm single in yada yada so the truth is that i'm single i'm not seeing anybody and i'm not dating dating is like getting to know people and no i'm not doing that i'm really not doing that dating in your 20s is it's a journey and it's a roller coaster you meet all sorts of people and i feel like i've not met my person people say when you know you know and i've never never experienced that or 
because if i had i would have been dating by now but i don't think i've found my person and it's okay i'm still young and there's nothing you don't really have to rush to be honest just taking my time i'm focusing on my business on myself on god spending time with my friends with um this concealer this is the lighter shade so this other one was dark so as i was saying yeah i'm just really taking my time and when it happens it happens hopefully the next time i'll be coming for a life update i'll be in a serious relationship i am manifesting and putting it into the universe because why not <laughs> yeah so i'm just gonna go in with concealer and put under the eyes and also here under the nose like so and here yeah i'm really happy with how everything is going especially the business is thriving it's growing and i don't take that for granted i am really really grateful to god for everything to be honest you know doing a business and your parents supporting you is another thing to be honest because at first i didn't get the full support that i needed my dad always wanted me to get a nine to five because he thought that is more secure you know like the security because some businesses start and they fail and we've all seen that but i believe my business will succeed i've always believed that and it's really what i've always wanted to do i feel like that's my purpose like that's where my purpose is and not nine to five and you have to figure that out and that's something that i'm glad that i figured out in my 20s like i found my purpose i love my business so much and i really work hard for it and yeah i know i'm not supposed to compliment myself but my sister tells me that and even my dad my mom yeah they really compliment me when it comes to hard work yeah so i just want to put in the work and grow my business to where god wants it to be it's hard for parents to also support a small business which is starting up i would also be worried if i had a child and they start a business and that's what i've experienced my dad was really scared he wanted me to do nine to five but now i'm full-time into my business and he support he supports it but uh, <laughs> no matter how much no matter even if even if i make a million i i, I feel like my dad would still want me to get to nine to five like that's just how he knows he's a traditional parent and african parents want you to get a job and whether your business is doing well they just want you to get a job because they also believe that people respect you when you have a job i don't know that's that sort of thing yeah but we're in a new era things have changed people are making a lot of money these businesses people are making millions that other people wait till they retire people are making it in two years but making it in a year really yeah so you don't have to limit yourself and you just have to do what you love to be honest i feel like if i was working i'm not saying i wouldn't work but i feel like if i was working i would be miserable because i once did internship and i was the most miserable person on earth that was 2021 and i was like this is not for me like this is not for me and i was miserable just going for work every day was like a nightmare for me but every day when i wake up i do my business i'm the most happiest person every week no matter how much i'm tired i know it's tiring doing a business because i'm doing it 24 7. 9 to 5 you're only working from 9 to 5 really you go home you race but if you have a business trust me you're working 24 7 on weekends on vacation wherever you go you're always chatting with your customers you're always checking on your stock yeah support system to be honest my family my friends and you guys you just you are supportive my customers they are amazing just do what you want to be honest like don't focus on what people will say what will my dad say even if your dad says anything to be honest it doesn't matter what matters is what you want to do not what your parents want you to do really yeah so you just have to 
just find yourself to be honest and do what you want not what your parents want you to do yeah as for me honey my dad is strict and i was scared like telling him like i'm not going to be looking for a job i was scared like i was sick to my stomach i was sick to my stomach just planning on how am i going to tell my dad but i did i just gathered my strength and i told him and now he accepts it like my daughter is not looking for a job and peace of mind is important i don't want to wake up and not do what i love every day like it's there is so much that's going on for you to be do, to be not doing what you love and then the 20s the 20s are the 20s i, I feel like they are the hardest time that anybody could ever you know face because you want a lot of things you want love you want your you're finding yourself like what's what is my purpose you you are doing your school and all that so to be honest i feel like everybody right now is going through something and you're not alone yeah sometimes you might feel like god god is really unfair on me but to be honest you're not the only one who's having a hard time like everybody is going through something we need to put this contour in the places that i need so i put there 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 and just a bit there yeah so i feel like everybody is is just yeah going through something to be honest like a long time i used to feel like maybe i'm the only one who's going through something and just talking to my friends like while well, they try to just you know wanting something out there and one way or the other we'll all get what our hearts desires yeah we'll get our hearts desire we just have to pray and be patient to be honest and if in your 20s trust me you are not missing out on anything my 20s are always tells me you are not missing out on anything yeah because i tell her other personal stuff and she's like honey you're not missing out on anything i would have told you if you're missing out on anything so those words really strengthen me to be honest uh, and then the other thing that i've liked about my 20s is just hanging out with my friends most of the times i don't get to see my friends but when i get to see them i'm so excited we have a good time my circle is small we have a blast like a blast like when we hang out we just have good good times and i love my friends so much i love them and hanging out with your friends in your 20s is just like amazing because we don't see each other often my friends are working nine to five and i'm also busy with my business so we see ourselves maybe after three months two months one month and when we get to hang out we have fun we drink alcohol we go out for dinner for lunch for movies like what i'm doing today like i'm going to see john week and yeah it's just fun and i thank god for just the friends that I have, like true, true friends. I can even call them my sisters. Yeah, we argue, but we always get back to, yeah, to where we are. I mean, no, no relationship is perfect. And I was watching a reality show. Somebody said, girls are quick to forgive their boyfriends when they argue. But when you argue with your friend, they are quick to cut them off and that's very true but i feel like we should always give our friends a benefit of doubt and we should always by all means try to give the same energy we give to guys we give them to our friends like forgive your friends because they're not perfect so i'm gonna go in with um setting powder i'll show you guys in a bit yeah so my friends have never done really like nasty shit towards me but i've had friends like who have done nasty shit and they cut them off and they weren't friends and i, I can't even call them friends but that's the past yeah but the friends that i have now they're like true true friends and i thank god for that in our 20s we lose a lot of friends and that's okay because people say your net your net worth 
your network is your net worth and which is true you can't be hanging out with people who just take you to party to drinks but don't influence you in your career and your business like those are not your friends to be honest i feel like we're growing and we need to have friends who will also impact us in some ways to be honest yeah because if you have just those friends who you just go to the club with the next thing you are just nursing your hangovers instead of talking about things that will benefit you in the next year like what are you guys getting are you getting cars are you buying land what are you doing and it's really nice to see your friends win it's like okay i have i have i have I have nice friends to be with. If you can even brag about your friends, okay, my friend is getting a car next week. And he's... Your friends really show you like who you are also. So just choose the right people as friends. Just going in with this shade. I'm gonna contour my nose like that. Yeah, I want it to look tiny. Mm. And now I need to blend it so that it doesn't look like I've just drawn lines. And this tip just to blend like so. Mm -hmm. And then let's talk about self love. Self love, the most important type of love that one can have. I feel like if you don't love yourself, it's hard for you to love other people because the love that you give to yourself is the love that you also give to other people so listening to dr charles Stanley the other day and he was saying with this this scripture in the bible which says love your neighbor as you love yourself reflect on that scripture which i did i found that first love yourself uh, how do we love ourselves in our 20s I feel like for me, the kind of love that I'm giving myself in my 20s is by taking care of myself, spiritually, putting God first because that is my source. Secondly, taking care of myself physically, working out. If I, I can work out at home, I can go to the gym. If I control what I eat, is I do intermittent fasting, I detox because I want to look a certain way and i need to take care of myself and how i look will also boost the confidence in me because i feel like if i'm at a certain weight i don't think i'll be happy i'll be miserable i'll be like oh my god i'm big i need to lose weight but if i'm taking care of myself and i make it a lifestyle i'll be happy i'll be looking at myself in the mirror i'm like yeah i'm fine i'm nice i'll be complimenting myself so that is self-love for me and self-love it's a journey it doesn't just happen in a year then you stop it's an ongoing thing so in my leads i'm just going to go in with these lights stuff and then just apply like that and also this side yes so after the physical part you also you're also working right I, I do a business how am i taking care of myself how am i enjoying the money i might take myself on a spa date i might take myself for a movie i might do that alone or i might do that with my friends both of them matter you also have to take care of yourself to be honest like financially then what are you working for if you are not taking care of yourself financially you know so you have to enjoy the fruits of your labor that is also soft i love seeing girls on instagram like they'll be going on spa days doing their nails why because they worked hard for everything that they are doing and it's nice to see like ladies are winning like ladies are winning the future is female yo so when they say the future is female they didn't lie like ladies are winning out there people are taking care of themselves people are praying and to be honest i feel like in heaven there will be a lot of ladies than men i feel like men are going to hell for their sins yeah because of if it is one yeah and then i'm gonna go in with 
this. This is called blush. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. And then I'll put like that. Just blend. Yeah, so to be honest, I feel like a lot of women are going to heaven than men because I feel like women pray a lot. Women are women are focused out there to be honest i don't think women are playing about their goals and it's nice to see it's inspiring to be honest yeah it's really really inspiring but men yo me i judge one thing just forgive me i just i just feel like men don't pray a lot men cheat a lot and they're not really focused on good like that so if you find a man who's got fear ring. My sister keep him. That's a keep. Yeah. But if you just find a guy who just drinks, sister run and throw that nigga in the trash. Does it look bad? No, it doesn't. It can get better. Yeah. I feel like that's how you love yourself to be honest you're just putting yourself first spiritually physically and then emotionally you take care of yourself you might feel whatever you're feeling by the end of the day you need to snap out of it pray get down on your knees listen to music and just don't end up in that era where you're just depressed i don't think god brought us on earth to be depressed no matter what we go through yeah i i don't have anxiety or whatsoever but i also go through my i also go through my own shit but i am an overcomer i mean i have jesus by my side i have the family i have friends like no matter what you're going through just talk to somebody it really gets better with time it really does so just deal with whatever you're dealing with and pray over it journal so the other part yeah and then i'm gonna just apply blush sorry highlighter yeah like that so the other way that we can take care of ourselves is by journaling having devotions praying listening to our favorite music podcasts watching a nice series your favorite movies and just catching up really like a lot i see a lot of people you know watching netflix this year and i was telling my friend i'm like this year adults are really just indoors watching stuff but journaling is also important it keeps you grounded and you know like okay god this is what you've done sometimes i'll just go back to my old journal if i'm feeling like life is you know about to you know cut off my head i'll just go to the and just start reading like how god has really blessed me and how much i should be grateful you know it could be worse any situation can be worse but god has really blessed me with my business he's blessed me with knowledge my body my skin my my good health like even health is like the most important thing i cannot work if i'm not healthy but i'm healthy other people are in the hospital and they can't get up they can't do anything because they are not okay so i don't take that for granted and being grateful will also attract new blessings in your life because i feel like if you're just negative complaining about this that I don't think that brings positivity or any new blessings. A negative mind always leads to a negative outcome. I'm grateful in life, really. It could be worse here. Yeah. So this year, no matter what I've gone through these past few four months, I know nothing bad has like happened, but obviously things will happen, and I'm still grateful and I am still happy. Yeah. I might cry i might blame god like god why is this happening to me but i am always grateful for everything and that has attracted like new blessings in my life and this is just month four it will get better like months are going and new blessings will come good things will happen god is still on the throne and good things are still happening yeah
situation now i want to talk about my living situation so i get compliments your apartment is nice you guys this is not an apartment i live with my dad like this is his house yeah so i'm living with my dad and i started living with my dad in 2021 but before that he was staying in siavonga and when we were at onza we just used to go for holidays there because it's boring as damn yeah so when we finished our tertiary level at the university of zambia my twin sister and i came to lusaka and my dad started renting for us and buying us food in the house where we used to live but when he moved back my sister got married and i remained staying alone and i was robbed too guys it was it was bad i was robbed but i wasn't in the house i was at my sister sorry i was at my friend's house i went for your for a weekend then i found that i was robbed my tv was gone my fridge was gone my bedroom was ransacked i don't know they thought i'll keep money in the house yeah and it was bad then my dad just came to pick me up because we were in the same seat in 2021 now that he moved to lusaka we we're in the same seat and he was like you're moving in with me bruh like i wanted freedom i really, really wanted freedom but my dad was like you can't live on your own you need to move back so that's how i moved back with him and to be honest moving with my dad was wasn't bad i feel like it worked out for its own good i don't think i would be where i am if i was staying alone to be honest because living with my dad i'm able to save i'm able to buy whatever i want and go wherever i want to go eat whatever i want because i'm not paying any bills you know you can't live with your parents forever but i really thank god that i live with my parents so that's my living situation you guys hopefully in the next life update i am in my own apartment yeah who knows maybe maybe not maybe yes but i'm not complaining living here is amazing i love my family my family is a vibe like my family is a vibe you know i also have the freedom here i'm able to do i'm able to go to my friend's place i'm able to do other ones and yeah i'm an adult i mean and my dad has has allowed me yeah just to just tell him if i'm going somewhere what time i'll be back yeah at the end of the day, this is not my house. That is his house and those are his rules. Yeah, but I would like to get an apartment. I feel like living alone is also nice. You have freedom to do whatever you want. Your friends can come over. Yeah, and you guys can chill. And the other thing is also that I would love to do in my own apartment. Yeah. So I'm going to go in with this setting spray. LA girl. Wow. Oh, Chad. In front, yeah, liner, the lid close sharp. Yeah. Just like that. Let me put some lip gloss now. So I'm just going in with uh, FBI. I like this lip gloss so much. There is a beauty store by East Park just near Golden Oakley. Yeah, good in my plate. That's why I get my FBI. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go in with uh, the other gloss. You guys, you see what I mean? So I'm gonna go in with uh, the gloss. Yeah. I love putting it on top so that it just looks cute. You see? So I go in like that. Then I'll tap. You guys, you see that? Hmm. It's getting professionally thick. In my friend, Kuti, why do some people say this and they don't mean what they say? And she's like, just know you have to know people who are for you and people who are not for you. And that spoke volumes. I was like, mic drop. I was really like, mic drop. You have to know people who are for you. Period period and you don't have to waste time on 
time wasters or people who are just who are liars to be honest lying is just a thing of and they call it small talk because you are not meaning anything that you're saying you're just saying it because you want to say it and embarrass yourself and look a fool as for me i don't like looking a fool so i just respect people's time really but other people mm -mm, they don't so i'll go in with that Ooh. <laughs> ah! yeah guys how did i do please don't blast me everybody's really going through something and you just have to be kind to everybody yeah so that's my little life update you guys and just what i wanted to talk about like it was just like a chit chat you know life really gets better it really does get better and put yourself first build a relationship with god have a foundation have a source who you can go to when you're facing good or bad god is there for us like every day since birth he's been there for us and just put him first who goes for you love everybody be kind to everybody as long as god is for you by you who can be against you nobody yeah so just love yourself and thank you so much for watching this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and comment down below if you guys love this video mm -hmm.